very good day to absolutely everybody. Um, today's date, um, I hope I'm saying it right, is the 9th of September 2022. Only just yesterday it is, was the 8th of September 2022, but by the time I uploaded this to YouTube, uh, you guys would have uh, uh, seen all the publicity of the media, uh, press and everything about the funeral, everything about the Queen Elizabeth II, who been on the throne um, for the UK, uh, for the Commonwealth, and for for this country for more than seventy years. Um, I'm working this morning, as it's the ninth on the Friday, um, and I just started on the duty on. 348 on the route 137 from Stratham Hill to Marble Arch. Departed from the garage on time. Well, in fact, I departed early actually. I I, I, I like to come out the garage early and park on, this, on, on the main road. So I'm not in anybody's way inside the garage, but since inside the garage, everyone is all leaving at the same time, causing chaos. Um, so I came in early this morning. Just don't know what to expect. When somebody passes big like that from a royal family, you just don't know what to expect. Um, I'm. How how am I feeling this morning? Well, ladies and gents, it's the Queen has done a lot, a lot, not just for me, but for the generation, for this generation, but also for the previous generation. She's done a lot for the for for this country, and. I'm, in, I'm actually, my heart is actually broken this morning. It is actually in tears. Um, when I picked up my first passengers from Stratham Hill, uh, going via Clapham Common, right up to Sloan Square, Knightsbridge, High Park Corner, Marble Arch, the bus was quiet, but my bus was packed. My bus was quiet, but my bus was packed, and it was nice. Um, I'm coming up towards Knightsbridge, and um, it's nice to see, um, you know, people got shown respect this morning. The honour of the Queen Elizabeth II, and it was nice. It was respectful. And uh, it was nice to hear from the IBIS controller from the Route 137, who was that honourable gentleman, did a broadcast this morning whilst I was passing over, um, what bridge is it? Is it Chelsea Bridge? <laughs> um, I should know that. Um, I hope I said that right. Yeah, Chelsea Bridge on passing over, going in the direction of Sloan Square. Put a broadcast announcement to every single driver on the Route 137, saying the statement is a very, very sad morning. Uh, we lost uh, a queen this morning, yesterday, sorry. And um, he's hoping, as the controllers, all IBUS controllers around Central London, is hoping there ain't going to be too much matter destruction this morning. But guaranteed later on this afternoon from midday onwards, I believe there will be diversions in place. I would believe there will be contaminants in place. Um, transport will be affected. Um, yeah, um, it took me by surprise. Uh, for those who know, I did do a YouTube video on the 8th of September 2022, just around about after seven o'clock. I think it was around about eight, nine o'clock I released it. Of the pictures of the queen if you haven't seen i'll leave it in the description box below um everyone all downstairs i even i grabbed myself a um a newspaper this morning so um he's he's actually asked me to depart early i'm just looking on my duty card uh asked me to leave three minutes early so i meant to leave at 7 48 on a time card but i will leave at 7 45. i'm just double check on the time i've got about four minutes so everyone everyone this morning has got themselves a free metro newspaper here in london so it's right here. Always grab yourself a newspaper, which is pretty cool. Um, you don't pay for it, guys. Please do take one. And if you are going to take one, please don't leave upstairs. Leave it on the floor. If you're finished reading it, you don't want to, you know, leave it on the seat. If not, put it back into the tray. Nothing wrong with doing that. This morning, it's quite big. Just about managed to hold it. There we go. Got the Queen's face. And pretty much from page one, right to the very end of the last page, it's got the football and every page up to what's the page number goes up to page 30 oh dear excuse me 
goes up the page. I don't know. Oh, the last person got the number. Oh dear. Okay, um, I'm going to have to make up one. Page number 42 up to page 43. It says on the very last page, I'm trying to get it in right for you guys. There we go. In fact, I'm going to do another shot for you guys. So, um, so page towards the end has got sports morns for the Queen. The best British to the sports of the Queen. Um, Her Majesty was presented for some most famous sporting moments of all times. And most memorable when she presented Bobby Moore with the Jules Reinet Trophy following England's World Cup uh, triumph at Wembley in 1966. Um, and then it also does talk towards to the right hand side. I just love this picture. This picture was taken down. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II picture dressed in the most ancient, most noble order of the Frisal robes during the state of a Baramol estate in the Highlands. Mate, that looks really, really good. Um, I think the UK will be grieving. Um, not even just for 10 days, I think for quite some time. Um, like as I say in the last post, I think majority, most people like myself, is going to miss the Queen's message every Christmas, every New Year. Whether King Charles III will actually take on upon that every year, that would be nice. Um, but uh, yeah. It's going to be a very, very sad, sad morning for London, for the UK and for the world who has followed the Queen Elizabeth from the moment when she started from being a queen until now to her death. And she has led a great legacy of actually being an amazing queen. As you hear on the radio on Network Management Control Centre, which is from TFL, today is the 19th of uh, September, and uh, we're saying our final goodbyes and farewell to our beloved, loved Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, who's been on reign for more than 70 odd years on being a queen for the nation, for Britain, uh, for many other countries, for uh, Commonwealth, uh, which has been pretty cool. So I'm on the Route 59 today. I'm starting from Brixton Garage, that's where your starting point is. I just spoke into the controller to find out where we're going. I thought we we're going to Houston, we we're not. But I did see diversion board signs, but I presume that might be on for tomorrow because um, there is going to be a lot of road closures still happening for like the whole week. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys everything what's going to be happening. But today, I just want to know how packed my bus is and what do we do? Do we do extra trips? Do we do like because obviously I'm not going to go all the way to Houston. I'm going to be curtailed at Kennington Lane Post Office. Um, so yeah, Kennington Lane Post Office is the final destination for the service for the Route 59. Route 319 is going towards Battersea Bridge, South Side. Um, the Route 137, no one has to change their blinds for the 137 yet. Um, one route, route 137, I think they're going as far as Battersea Park as well. Um, so nothing's not really going over the, over the river. Um, I would have thought our uh, catamaran point might have been Lambeth North uh, tube station, but obviously no, that's all kind of grid li licked off. So uh, so yeah, um, there isn't much much NOE inside the uh, sign-in output area really. Um, so I had to come out and ask the controller because I knew that uh, you know buses weren't going to be running at full service. Um, but later on this afternoon, it's going to get busy. Should, should get busy, should get packed up, but uh, yeah. Uh, you join me here at Brixton Garage. It's 10 past six here at the garage. Well, I'm almost approaching 10 past six. Um, we had a call at half past five this evening or this afternoon from Network Management Control Center stating on their broadcasting, any routes that are going via Waterloo Bridge or Waterloo Station, they kind of go back to line of route. And you know, all the drivers are like, oh, we don't really want to do it. Uh, but anyway, um, that's one way of relief for the controllers in one way. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're back to line of route. Earlier this afternoon, when I first started, we were curtailing at Kennington Post Office or Kennington Lane or Kennington Church. Um, I find it much easier to uh, determine at Kennington Church, really, because then you got all the routes there. You've got the routes. Uh, 159, you've got the route 3, you've got the route 133, 
Um, and then obviously we're not too far from Oval Station, so if passengers wish to take the London Underground on the Northern Line, uh, obviously that was in Fort Operational. Um, so yeah, so that was happening. Um, I have to say, the controllers down here have done a remarkable good job. It's been two controllers throughout the whole day today, but it's been manic, been really, really manic in here. There was no spaces left for, uh, to park your buses, we we'll try to use our bus lanes as much as possible, but obviously you can't use the bus lanes. We've obviously got other service buses trying to use up and down the road. So yeah, so um, yeah, so no, it's been great. It's been a great atmosphere. Bus has been empty all day. It's not been packed. So uh, yeah, um, I loved it. Um, would this opportunity to come again in the near future? Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, whether that may occur, who knows? So yeah, I've got one more rounder to do and then I can call it home, call it home time. So yeah, pretty cool.